Hello and welcome to the AMA Entertainment TV Network and our sponsor for this episode today is Christopher McGee Photography, professional photography and videography including drone services and our first guest today is none other than the beautiful Coco Japan. <laughs> Come on in, it's Coco Japan. Hi, Miss Nikki. Hello. How you doing, girl? How you I doing? am wonderful. You are looking beautiful as always. Thank you, and so are you, darling. Thank you, honey. Chill. So, how have you been? <laughs> I've been pushing. I've been great. Bliss. Awesome. That's Definitely blessed. That's what we love for you to do. Push and keep pushing. Yes. Last time I saw you, I think I was on your show. You were? Yes, ma'am. Definitely were. Yes, ma'am. So, we have the actress, the mm -hmm. model, mm -hmm. the host. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All of that. Brand ambassador. Brand ambassador. Yes. Yes. Published model. Yes, ma'am. Don't forget that. Runway forget model. That. <laughs> I'm put my hair back in the frame. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So tell us a little bit about all of this talent that you have. Listen, listen. So it's a lot. But yeah, I'm, you I'm are multi-talented. Well, yeah, it's a lot. So listen, um, the modeling started. My mom used to, um, I know a lot of you guys have heard of the Southern Women Show. Yes, ma'am. So when the Southern Women Show first started, because mm -hmm. I'm 40, I'll be 41 next month. Wait a minute. Okay, fine, fine. Did you say 40? 41 Did next month. But we not. That? Hey, listen, I'm just saying. Anywho, um, my mom was modeling for um, Brooks International Models. Mm -hmm. So she used to do all of the um, Southern Women shows, swimsuit model, and I just used to look at her. You know, just like in awe when mm -hmm. she was getting ready. You know, I couldn't go to the shows because it was a grown folks sitting. Right, you know right. But, yeah, she inspired me. That's how I started with the modeling. Okay. And then as I... Um, grew older um i was in high school you know you run for different stuff i was on the dance team in high school mm -hmm. um, i danced at mouse college um i always was kind of like front and center like like real prissy stuff mm -hmm. if that makes sense and you was, you was about to speak as in my ponytails right there yes i was real su super little especially when i was in mouse <laughs> college i was super little i was like 105 a freshman in college okay? so you you danced at mouse college yes I okay did. I was okay a golden star um for a year and i got pregnant with my son Okay. So after that, um, you know, got a baby and kind of slowed me down. Okay. But then I went to an audition for South Models on LSD. Shout out to Patricia and Dez. Okay. And I was under contract with South Models. That's when the, that's when the beast came out. You know. Oh, finding um, yourself. Oh my God! Like I didn't. That's when I knew who I was. <laughs> Uh, well, God, I knew who I was because God told right. me who I was. You get what I'm saying? I got you. So don't want to forget that. But however, South Models, um, it brought out a different person in me mm -hmm. um i was modeling. It brought out you it brought out shavon right Coco, okay japan so i modeled for shafer's eyewear for macy's twice i was the face of ashley stewart um the face of um i did i did say macy's i did learn um new york and company y'all there's so many she can't remember i know i did new york and company i did um city gear twice mm -hmm. i modeled for like different brands, um, boutiques okay. around Atlanta, um, Alabama. I, man, <laughs> listen, <laughs> I was, um, I did music videos. I was a video vixen at once. Mm -hmm. I've done, um, through South Models, background da um, dance. I started with Off the Chain Management, which was okay. with Dez, okay. um, Patricia's husband. Mm -hmm. I was background dancing for, I don't know if y'all remember the um, artist Riel. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I was a background dancer yes. um, then. And then I kind of migrated into, she wanted curvy models. And I was like, why not? Went to the audition and baby, listen. Killed came it. to life. Came to life. Killed so it. yeah, um, I did so many promos, um, different clubs in Birmingham. I did promos with Boris Kojo, um, Mike Epps, um, Bill Bellamy. Mm -hmm. um, I was on an episode of Let's Stay Together um, that was on BET mm -hmm. and the game through mm -hmm. South Models. 
I was just, I had so many jobs. Even around Birmingham, like I said, it's so much that, you know, my mind is kind of... Macy's, New York and Company, I, I mean, think I read about. Yes, it was It was a lot. It was a lot, as okay. you can see. Yes. So I'm just yes, going to kind of boil it down. And then I met um, Harold and Latoya Nicole over mm-hmm. G Entertainment Magazine. Mm-hmm. And with them, I was able to model for Simply Fashions okay. and Simply 10. And I did another um, eyeglass wear um, modeling, uh, runway Okay. Modeling. Um, so I did a lot of shows with them. And you know my walk is like you know okay. Miss Nikki, right? Yes. Are yes. we are we like I have I have had the pleasure <laughs> Thank you. of sharing the stage with my sister here. Yes. With my mother sister here. Yeah, so I when I got with Junior Entertainment I was able to be like a my own person to kind of because okay. I was under contract with South Models. Right. Which was great. But then I was independent model, so I was able to just go, go out and it go to Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta yeah. Expo. Um, supposed to come up like the Atlanta Fashion Week um, that's coming up. Just different stuff. Like I said, again, so much. With the acting, um, I did a first uh, stage play. It was a nationwide stage play called Church Hurts. And I was, I played, this was literally in 2018, I played a 19 year old model. I mean, a 19 year old character because they didn't they didn't think I was my age. I kept saying I'm 36. They was like, no way. So you know, I played Lexus. Right. Um, I went to Mississippi first. The stage play was phenomenal. We went. It was um like a tour. We definitely got paid for it. Thank God. We you did. know, it was a paying job. Um, Nikki, uh, when we did the one in Alabama, Nikki was a part of that mm-hmm. with me. She played it very well. Her part. She was the church lady. They made me the um. The, the sister that be bending over and stuff, you know, I don't know if I got this look or something. Because for some reason, when I do movies, everybody just pick me to be the giddy girl. You get what I'm saying? That's Coco Japan. Oh, my God. It's it's an alter ego, though. Right. You know, mommy first. It, it is an alter yes, ego. Yes, it's she... definitely. I have three beautiful kids. Um, I am definitely a mother first. But um, now, I'm going to break that down because, it's again, it's a lot. But I am a radio show host and co-host i have my own show which is called conversations with um, coco japan again it's conversations c-u-m versations with coco japan and it's a sex show but it's a sex show that's um what can i say it's kind of it's not raunchy you okay. get what i'm saying now i revamp so now okay. i'm about to do a dating show for okay. singles okay so if they want to find you if people want to find mm-hmm. you how can they find you? Where can they find you? Where well, they want to look you up. Look me up. So you can always go to Smash Bros Radio's page on Facebook because I'm not on Facebook. Um, just go on there and, of course, you'll see me. You'll be able to, you know, leave a message or whatever. But my IG is Coco underscore Japan. I'm going to spell that for you. It's C-O-C-O-A underscore J. P is in Paul. A is in Apple. N is in Nancy. So that's Coco underscore Japan on IG. And that's where I'm mostly, you know, at to receive my DMs and, you know. And if you want to be a contestant on any of my shows, just let me know. Because you win prizes, prop dates. But I only need single people, okay? Because I don't need nobody getting in trouble on my show. But, yes, I'm going to be the new love connector. All All right. right. Well, if anybody would like to reach out to Coco Japan, she just gave you all of her information. Contact her if you're single and you don't want to be single any longer reach out to her she is the love connector the matchmaker and we thank you so much i thank you guys for for having me i thank you thank you and we have a commercial and we are going back to our sponsor mr christopher mcgee photography for all your photography needs book now professional photography and videography including drone services call mr christopher mcgee at 601-513-1024 and on instagram he's picture plug spell p-i-k-t-u-r-e-p-l-u-g and our next guest that we have coming up is Mr. Willie D, the mic breaker. And I am loving the dreads. Thank you. Thank I'm feeling the dreads. How's it going today? I'm feeling good. Glad to be here. Okay, blessing. you have such a calm, cool demeanor to Gotta be the be. mic breaker. Gotta be. 
Well, now, it got to be totally different when you're on a mic. Yes, that's when it comes out. That's <laughs> when it comes out. That's your alter ego, as yes. our last guest called her, Miss Coco Japan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so um, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you have going on. Yes, well, I'm a CEO slash artist from Birmingham, Alabama, from the West End area. Oh, that's, yes. that's my area. Okay. Oh, that's my area. Okay, okay, okay. Well, so you yeah. have to be a good guy. Yes. Um, I have a very deep love for music and um, okay. inspiring and, you know, touching people in ways mentally. Okay. okay. So that's, that's pretty much, you know, what we're doing here. Okay. And you are the CEO of, is it? Survival Entertainment LLC. Yes, Survival Entertainment. LLC. Okay, yes. tell us a little bit about Survival Entertainment. Well, what it entails. Okay, well, Survival Entertainment is basically a a team, a conglomerate, I okay. say, um, of different bosses. Everybody has their own thing going on, but we come together and use our resources and mm-hmm. everything to help each other. Sharp, you know, iron okay. sharper iron. That's right. Like that. Yes, and um, you know, just one big team doing it together, doing it the way they say it can't be done. That's yeah. what it's all about, mm-hmm. helping each other, reaching back. Okay, so what are you doing right now? What do you have going on? What can we look for from Willie D? Well, as of right now, I'm looking to expand, you know, get as many resources as I can because the music is there. We can do okay. music all day, but it's things around it on the business end, like mm-hmm. connecting, networking, right. uh, you know, different states trying to get out there you know because right, i'm right. a bit of a loner i'd be isolated and that's that attitude is, will not align with what i'm doing right, right now. you so can't be isolated now really bubble, you gotta to get out, out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's what pretty much what i'm doing right now reaching out you know yeah becoming a people person you know that that's what you have to do mm-hmm. now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out here i'm gonna put you out there now All right. so have you ever come to the Alabama Music Awards. Yes, I actually was nominated for two awards. Okay. Yes. Um, I thank y'all for that. You know. Okay. I wasn't expected. So that that's yeah. the thing. That's what Zeus Entertainment does. He he puts he he grabs those artists that are here mm-hmm. in Alabama. Shout Not, out Zeus. Yes. Shout out to <laughs> Zeus and Zeus Entertainment. He doesn't just limit it to Birmingham. Yeah. He goes abroad, everywhere in Alabama. And he tries to get those artists that people don't see and maybe some like yourself that are not out there or not as vocal Mm -hmm. as some are to pull them in so that people can see them, people can know. Mm -hmm. And once they see you and they hear you, they hear your story, they hear what you have going on, um, like survival entertainment, and they may want to be a part of that. Yeah. You're here on the show, and they see you, and they hear what you have going on. Yeah. So, with that being said, and someone wants to reach out to you, how can they contact you? Well, you can contact me on all social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. That'll be Willie DTMB. That's the mic breaker, you know. But okay. It's spelled Willie DTMB on Instagram. It'll be the hood intellect. Okay. So, yeah, um, and all those pages being monitored around the clock. So I pretty much see it if you miss it, either one. Okay. So if there was a little kid from mm-hmm. West End that wanted to do what you were doing and he didn't have the resources, but he had a passion, he had the love for it, and he had the talent, mm-hmm. what advice would you give that kid that wants to do what you're doing? Well, yeah, I was actually that kid, so really, yeah. Uh, my advice would be stick to your gun. You know, you have a vision; mm-hmm. it'll come to you. The vision will only fit you. It might right. be a lot of people that try to stop you. Mm-hmm. It might be a lot of people say, "Hey, switch it up, do it this True. way." But that vision is coming to you, and you only for a reason. True. So just stick it out. You gonna mess up. It's gonna be errors. But hey, it's all up. It's only up to you to keep going. If you want it, you will. You will get it. Trust me. That's true. That's willpower. Willpower. I Mm -hmm. like that. I like that. So, with that being said, that is concluding our show. And like Mr. Willie D was telling us, stick to it. Stick to your guns. And with that, keep pressing.
praying and pushing. I'm your host, Nikki J, and until next time, peace. Peace. <laughs>